Bayern getting ready for the first league match of the week versus Dark Flame Master's Jury, Master of the Review. A 1 1 creature for 1 black and 1 red with the text Whenever you sacrifice a permanent, put a plus 1 plus 1 counter on Jury, Master of the Review. And when Jury dies, it deals damage equal to its power to any target. Jury is going to work well with sacrifice effects, with fling type effects as well, that let you double damage, uh, getting one amount of damage from the fling effect and the second amount from Jury's passive ability or triggered ability. Uh, a lot of aggressive one, two, and three drops. We also have a lot of aggressive 1, 2, and 3 drops in our Tajik deck. We'll have to see whose deck draws more aggressively. Uh, I'm going to say this is probably a bad matchup for us, given the amount of damage that they can output. We'll be racing them, but they have a lot more disruption than we do. Cut down, fatal push, fungal infection, lightning bolt, march of wretched sorrows, as instance, molten impact, methods of enthusiasm, feed the swarm, and bone shards as sorceries. They also have hand of disruption, duress, inquisition of Kozilek, Thoughtseize, which we don't care about as much, um, mind spike rather, which we don't care about as much, and Thoughtseize. They run Shadow Spear, which lets them gain back life. They uh, they have a lot of damage and ways to kill our creature. They have uh, Shieldred and Yawgmoth, which are going to be two of the more difficult drops for us to deal with, as well as Prosper, Tonebound, which uh, who can block very effectively. Um, so we'll have to see if we can get in. Judith also going to be a big threat against us. We'll have to see if we can get in uh, quick enough. Playing on the draw or playing on the play is going to be a big differentiator in this match of aggro versus sack aggro. Uh, and given that the opponent has the ability to switch to an aristocrats style deck means they can change to being the control if they need to they have the tools to do that whereas we are pretty much a straight up aggro deck the opponent goes first we have a good turn one play um we Wish we had better lands here, but we can ultimately Uthgart Fury. We can Ragavan into Ember Coiler into Uthgart Fury. Um, so we might keep this on the play and just see how it works out. We could alternatively see what the opponent does. They're going to Duress and take our Fury. Of course, it's the only card they can take. But hand disruption paying off here. Uh, we will go ahead and Ragavan. So we get to play to the board at least first. We drew a command tower, which means we can play Tajik eventually. There goes Karizev, Skyship Raider. Uh, we can play out a Plains and play Yitu Ember Coiler. Next turn, we can discard a Plains. Uh, opponent has Carry Zev on board, who can block both of our creatures. Let's see what their three drop play is. Professional Ace Breaker. Okay, they're gonna attack in. Um, we're gonna take three, and they get to make a treasure token. They get to make two treasure tokens now. See, we can discard uh, Restless Bivouac, possibly. Let's go with the planes for now. And the Sky play of Apparition is really nice here if the opponent has no removal. So if they have removal here, we get a little bit blown out when we attack. We can hit their Facebreaker. 
Um, who is going? Who's three? But they didn't luckily have removal there, uh, and we can play off of the treasure, Skrelv. So we've played out to the board now, we have Skrelv who can give one of our team unblockable. The opponent goes for a who plays Shieldred, which is great for them. And they get to pump Jury, which is great for them too. They attack in with um, with carry Zed, we get to draw for our turn. Uh, we lose two life. Let's see, let's go ahead and discard Restless Bivouac. See what we draw. Faithful Absence is absolutely great here. So we can go ahead and Faithful Absence the Shieldred, which we will really need to do. And then we can um, swing in with Ragavan for two. We'll get protection from red. So opponent can block with Shuri here and then ping down another one of our team. Uh, and then we can play out Teshi off of the treasure. So we have the board advantage here. The opponent redraws uh, Shieldred, which is a problem for us, obviously. And the Shadow Spear, which is great for them. We're going to have to try and really throw out the damage here. We are in a much better state in terms of the board. Uh, Azri Ket, absolutely amazing here. So now we have some options. We play out Azri Ket. Do we want to minus? Then we get one, two, three, four, five five attackers in if we minus with Basri Ket. I think that is what we want to do. I think we absolutely need to throw out the damage as fast and as furious as we can. So uh, let's go ahead and attack in with our whole team. Hmm. I don't think we want to lose the Ember Coiler here. Um, Maybe the minus was not what we wanted to do, actually, on second thought. Uh, probably wanted to plus on something like Tajik. Um, so, alternatively, let's see, what are the options? They're going to deal with two of our creatures. If we deal, if we swing in with five, they block two. Um, they go down to uh, let's say they block Tajik and Ember Coiler. They go one, two, three, four, five, and five. They take ten. They go down to six damage. That was not what we wanted to do. We wanted to plus Bazri. Um, that's a shame. Well, next turn they only have four mana, so you know what? Let's go ahead and let's swing in with these three. We'll put the the mentor uh, here, and four combat. We will put. Okay, that can resolve the four blockers. We're going to scroll something. Uh, we have to choose what we want to scroll here. Um, I think we want to scroll. on Tajik. For red. 
then they at least can't two for one us. The sun has befuddled my brain. And if I shield it, I go down to seven. We can get in for let's see. Uh, do we win here? Always a question worth asking. If we discard the Rampaging Raptor, we get a hasty creature. Yeah, uh, I think we just win here. So, we do this. We discard Rampaging Raptor. We draw a flyer. We play this out, and that's just 7 damage right there. Scrolls on... Uh, so, they can block two of our creatures, a three and a two. We still get in for enough damage, uh, I believe. We attack with the team. Who should we mentor? Let's mentor one of the lower powered creatures. Let's mentor a token. And the opponent takes four in the air. They can block Tajik and uh, an Ember Coiler. We have lethal. Look at that uh, Ember Coiler, the tiny Crucius, really doing a lot of work, giving us exactly the card that we need. Uh, the, the Fateful Absence draw was, or Seek was clutch. Basri, we managed to make the most out of it, and perhaps that was the right play after all. The opponent being stuck at 4 mana really helped us in this case. Uh, and so that was a nice win on the draws. Okay, let's see, let's look at this hand. We have Adeline, we have Early Removal, and uh, we have a Bolt, so we can... And we have a turn 2 and a turn 3 play. We, we can try and keep this on the draw, a little less aggressive. We can Curse of Silence their Jury. The Brood Moth is great here. So we will Curse of Silence their Jury, Master of the Review. We can Treasure with Charming Scoundrel. Or we can just destroy Jadar here. Alternatively, we can Eberhart this turn. Eberhart having double strike, I think, is interesting here. Or we can scoundrel um, treasure. I think we Eberhart here. They can get in with their zombie, but otherwise we get to block one of their creatures for free. They can tend to turn remove Eberhart if they want. If they don't remove Eberhart, we can play minus minus. Minas Kerith next turn. Their 3 drop is Lelia, which we can shock next turn, so that's nice. We can Charming Scoundrel and shock. The uh, Mephits of Enthusiasm is a good draw for them. But it's a good exile if they could play it, but they can't play it. So here we go. Um, Minas Tirith. We Charming Scoundrel um, and Treasure, and we Shock Lelia. That gives us um, that gives us, and we'll do this now during our turn so they can't use any flame effects if they have them. 
Uh, that gives us two blockers. We have two creatures on board, and we can planes next turn into Luminous Bloom Moth, which is going to be great for our team. If they don't remove anything this turn. They have the Man for Jury soon. Okay, there they can move Eberhart. That's unfortunate. There they attack with the zombie. They choose not to block. And we will still, I think, go with the Brood Moth play, hoping that they don't get a removal for it. Makes our Tajik and Adeline plays in future turns much stronger. We can also now block for free with the Charming Scoundrel. And let's see what they drew. We have five lands, opponent does. One card in hand. Ah. <laughs> of course, they drew removal, so well done, opponent. Jadar going to be a nightmare for, for us. Sarah Paragon is great here. Um, so we can potentially Paragon this turn, then um, choose what we want to do next turn. Are Sarah Paragon now blocking their zombie token, not letting them sack to get a plus one plus one counter on jury? It's a pretty big deal here. Um, we can play out Tajik, and I think we are going to sacrifice that to draw the one kind of answer here. And they're going to swing in with the team. So we will block the zombie token, and we will block Embrith. Uh, it creates a young hero, they can sack it, so they can get a uh, counter there. The young hero role is whenever this creature attacks, if its toughness is three or less, put a plus plus one plus one counter on it. So who are they going to give that to? Let's see. They give it to Jury. Jury goes up to three. Okay. Ooh, what a draw off the top. That's nice. Um, so let's pay two life here. Let's go ahead and uh, do we want Adeline or Tajik? Hmm. We can play Ah, uh, let's go ahead and play Adeline. That works. Um we could potentially draw, but I think I'm happier playing Curse of Silence here on Jury again. Jury. Master of the Review, and then we can um, answer Jury on their turn. If they don't play anything else out. I like where we're at here. Opponent has the advantage in the air. Fortunately, uh, they're going to keep drawing. They can block us, but we can move their ground troops. Hopefully, and swing in. Sarah Paragon giving us really great uh, ability here to replay our creatures from the graveyard. Let's see, so target creature deals damage equal to its power to any other target, then sacrifice it. So I think here we will go ahead and remove Jury in response. Jury does 2 damage. Let's 
we look for the case. Okay, sack. We go ahead and Charming Scoundrel next turn again. We're going to draw a third clue. Uh, alternatively, we can. So we can block with Adeline and with Sarah Paragon. Here we can go ahead and land Tajik. Um, we can Charming Scoundrel on to um, onto Tajik. We can create a Wicked Row and then we can swing in. Uh, I don't think we want the 1 1 attacking. Can swing in and we can mentor the Sarah Paragon. So next turn we can play replay Adeline. Uh, and we will go ahead and end the turn there. When it plays a land, seven lands, they can cast a jury for six, we can draw off of jury. We should have drawn last turn, we missed that off of Minas Tirith because we attacked in with enough creatures. Let's go to combat. We can block the zombie token. Okay, let's go ahead and block that. We get some life. We get two life off of the zombie token. The opponent is going to dispute the zombie token, draw two cards, and make a treasure. So our lack of drawing off of Tajik really hurting us there. Molten impact on Tajik. Okay, that's fine. Alright, so we can here, we can either Tajik, ah, we can Tajik and Paddle Knight, but then we can't draw. So, um, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, we have eight, one, one, two, five, six, seven, eight, I think we Tajik and Adeline here. And go ahead and swing in with everything, we can put the Mentor on token and start really pressuring the opponent's life total. Bring it down to nine life. They play jury, we draw the curse of silence. Yes, we want to draw there. Selfless spirit is absolutely fantastic here. able to selfless spirit twice because of Sarah Paragon is really really nice. Next turn is going to be a nice turn for us to swing in. Okay, we can Ebro Heart. We can selfless spirit. And now we can swing in with the team. She can burst up one of our tokens with its mentor, uh, and we can always draw here. So she giving all right. And what do you block there? So uh, first, we're going to go ahead and. We're going to give Tajik first strike. Oh, 
opponent down to five, an opponent in a really tough spot here. We have a huge board advantage. Who are you dealing to? Selfless Spirit? Up. Oh, oops. Doesn't work because of Tajik. And oops. Uh, that was one <laughs> too expensive. So we might as well play up the land now. We miscalculated from Minas Tirith. Uh, so it wouldn't have mattered on that earlier turn anyways, and I think we just win here into on the draw. So Tajik really doing a great job of um, turning up when we needed it to. We will sack Ugrith and go ahead and attack in. So let's mentor the self the spirit. Doesn't really matter here anymore. Uh, let's draw at maximum value. And Aging Raptor, a nice draw. Uh, what a game! Yeah, we were able to stabilize and to build board advantage. It worked out really well for us, both games. 